Hello everyone, this is Fika once again with this week's Investigating True Gaming. This one's going to be a bit of a doozy. I kind of expected it to have it done yesterday, but I was so tired yesterday. It was Saturday and uh, today is Easter Sunday, so I find myself with a little bit of time before heading to my friend's house. So I want to do this today. So today's uh, video is going to be discussing a post done by, it's unfortunately deleted right now. I don't know whether this means the account is gone or the post is gone, but it's about hardcore and casual and the question is what do developers really mean when they use the words hardcore and casual now the post is a bit lengthy but i'm just going to i've made a couple of points here talking about basically what he or she said basically he thinks that uh, hardcore and casual are based on time investment and that uh, casual can be as brutal as a hardcore game now wildstar he had played wildstar and he said that uh, was supposedly catered for a hardcore MMO -er, and he also mentions about how Nintendo went back to cater back to the hardcore but he himself found himself getting bored with the game and in the late game for him apparently from friends that stuck to it he found himself it being kind of bored as well now he said that while he was playing WoW in high school, he had a lot more time in his hands and that now he doesn't have a lot of time. And in the context of hardcore, it's more about time than anything related or uh, in the game or being good at a specific thing in the game. And also he mentions how devs are getting accused of catering to the casuals by trimming the fat. I'd like to discuss a little bit about that. It seems as though there is this mentality about how if you cut down the game's length or you don't make it as complicated it probably is you get accused of oh you're making the game more for casual gamers and i'm gonna read this last part from the post because this is where he asks a couple of questions what's with this mentality is it even relevant do the words hardcore and casual even mean anything when a developer or marketing campaign talk about them and this is where i come in and First off, we'll tackle the mentality. What is with this mentality? Well, there are this, there is this line of people who call themselves hardcore gamers or casual gamers, and he or she makes it about time investment. The amount of time that you put into a game is what qualifies you as one of these tags. And I happen to agree with. Uh, him or her or her because I mean we we I would say that a person who dedicates like 10 hours to a game beats it and then moves on to the next one I would say he's just a uh, kind of sort of like a casual oh he sees the game he beats it he doesn't tackle with the secrets but now you see a person who plays like for instance a friend I know who puts in over a thousand hours of Team Fortress 2 constantly playing it every day even though she knows that she has stuff to do <laughs> <laughs> I'm poking fun at her, but it's really cool. She spends a lot of time. It seems that would be the class classification of being hardcore per time investment. She is a hardcore Team Fortress 2 player. But I like to, it's in, in terms of length, it's a good it's a good thing. But I also think maybe hardcore is also based on genre. I also think that some genres just fall under that category. First person shooters typically have that. I think maybe RPGs as well, because those by themselves already, they think they require putting a lot of time to get anywhere like Team Fortress 2 you need to put a lot of time in to get the better weapons unless you want to buy them you put in a lot of time just to get certain hats get certain guns get certain things and but in in terms of RPGs and first person shooters uh and especially RPGs most of these they they have a good 40 60 hour RP, uh, RPG length time and sometimes that also is a factor and probably also uh, legacy as well you got a lot of people who grew up playing certain games and then when you bring them back they also like have a tendency to dedicate a lot of time because they have a bit of a loyalty in terms of the fan base but difficulty can also be one thing that i think separates hardcore and casual and 
that kind of goes into <laughs> another b uh, thing that people tend to talk about. It's like, oh, you know, your games are too easy. I don't think that that's really all that hardcore. And that's some, I think that people, uh, that's another bit of the mentality. I just think they also rate their hardcoreness or casualness in gaming based on how hard is the game to beat or how hard is it to progress. The top example is probably all of the Dark Soul, Bloodborne, and games that are being made, the well-known ones by From Software. They, I think that people who play and get really good at these games, you might actually call that a hardcore. Even though you can beat the game really quickly, from what I've heard, those games have a way to be beaten very quickly. There is a lot of, there is a bit of a challenge that goes into plus going through the game and exploring everything, and that, to some people, I think would be considered a hardcore. Now, is it relevant? I'm gonna say, or she, I mean, I'm gonna say maybe, because I think it helps to sell a game when you label it a specific way. No, it doesn't mislead. Like I said, the From Software games, I don't think you, they get the same reaction if you call them for casual gamers, <laughs> it'd be a lie. I don't think that the overall consensus is that a casual gamer spends its time beating and slugging through a From Software game. So they tag it like that so that they know, yes, Dark Soul fan, this is for you. But I say may probably not as well, that's why I say maybe, because I would say that a person who spends their time playing hundreds upon hundreds of hours of a game called Candy Crush, or a game that is free and is just simplistic, it's just like the poster said. A casual game can be as brutal as a hardcore game, quote unquote. It's really just a matter of how much time you can spend playing it. Some might say that a simple game like that just puts you in the hardcore because you've got just a ton of time am amassed to it. So, but it helps that it's a good point that the poster said. Time investment is a good way to kind of sort of distinguish the tag. Now, do the tags... Yeah, to address the one about the, this is kind of sort of like the or, or, overall question. It's like about the developers and if this really means something when they do. Now, the tags do mean something when the devs and the marketing team talks about these because they know that there is a divide of casual and hardcore gamers. They know that that meanings change but the overall consensus at least from what i've gathered from developers and car uh, marketing campaigns is that a casual gamer is a gamer that prefers less challenging with less mechanics less fuss and the straight into the game and it's be a, just a quick game like a game like tetris you don't need to know much about it you just in there and you play it a game like mario which some people could consider to be a hardcore game it's pretty simplistic, just get to the end of the stage. Sort of things like that. And that's why I think many people consider Nintendo games to be kept for casual people, even though some games be considered as hardcore, because some of the game's mechanics are far more simplistic and they focus more on just putting you into the game and playing. Well, as hardcore, they just distinguish as complete opposite. It's like a more challenging game, it's got a lot more mechanics, there's more ways to play, and the difficulty gets ramped up, it's a longer game, and that's sort of how I think personally this this whole thing fits. I think overall what I do think, uh, what do they really mean, it's more in terms of a marketing uh, campaign overall. I do think that what I think they really mean is that when they're saying that they're going to give you a game for a casual audience. I personally think that this is just more of a friendlier approach. This is a game that anybody can play. This is a game that they won't get to a point where they want to play easy. I would put a game like the recent Pokemon free to play game. I would say that would be a game more that anybody can play. Don't need to get so such a fuss about it. They made it in a way that you can easily play it. But a Pokemon game, which is basically an RPG, which you'll invest lots of hours capturing Pokemon, leveling up Pokemon, fighting other people with Pokemon, and doing all sorts of things in Pokemon, I would say that even if with the friendly nature of it, I would say that would be more of a hardcore uh, approach. I think they really just want to cater to a specific game audience in my opinion, I think it's it's pretty much a 
what they what it means when they say it it's more about in terms of marketing it really is they know that there are gamers that prefer tougher grittier games so they label those as hardcore because i mean there's they know that a specific kind of gamer goes to them and they know that they could label a game as casual because they know that they can also get anybody to go in and play it and it's kind of weird i do think it's more sort of it's just sort of the, the perspective that these two groups have kind of made the hardcore and casual thing the the redditor definitely has a point it the, i do think i kind of agree i think i could I, I actually agree it does th i think in terms of time investment that's sort of the meaning of a hardcore and a casual gamer i think that is in in, in this overallness is just the amount of time that you dedicate for it. If I'm a, I'm more of a casual comic book reader because that's something that I do on and off. Gamer, I think I'm a hardcore gamer because that's what I spend more time doing. What it means when developers do it, they just know that there are people that are going to be getting into this and they're going to be hitting it hard and that's who they, how they try to cater it. But they also know that there are people who just on again, off again play so they make and cater games for those as well. And that's really all I got to say. This is my opinion. What do you guys think? What do you guys think it this differentiates a casual and a hardcore gamer? What do you think the developers in the marketing campaigns say when they are catering to a market that is a casual against one that is hardcore? Why don't you guys let me know? Why don't you guys tell me what you think? And we'll talk about it, discuss it down in the comments below. I'll leave also the link of the reddit post i am able to access posts from deleted things so i'm thinking that it was just the account that's gone but the post is still there if you want to post if you even can i mean post there and also check as well but regardless i would like to know what you guys think so anyway I'll leave you all with this uh, in the end. Uh, you all have yourselves a great day. Those that are doing stuff for Easter, have fun. Go find them eggs. Go eat them chocolate. Go get sugar rushes and then go get some more candy and do it all over again. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. My name is Fico and that was my gaming mind. Peace out.